there's a, a couple more athletic teams coming here than just football this weekend. The boxing team's here. They're going to have 10 bouts at Trinity this evening. Uh, the squash team is uh, also competing against some Irish teams at one of the uh, lawn and tennis clubs. Uh, and, then, and then we got Trinity here tonight. To understand athletic excellence, I think you really need to understand the physical mission at the Naval Academy as one of really the defining characteristics. Uh, the physical mission at the Academy is recognized by its prominence, being one of the three primary pillars of de midshipman development. We talk about developing midshipmen morally, mentally, and physically. We also recognize that the physical mission has tremendous breadth. We have 32, soon to be 33 varsity sports, 14 club sports, of which rugby is one of them, uh, a host of intramural opportunities, and a four-year physical education curriculum. So each and every midshipman participates in the physical mission. And lastly, it's, it's so f effectively interconnected with the overall mission of the institution and the academic and military development aspects as well. And I think that one of the important things about the military is teamwork, and there's nothing better than athletics to teach you teamwork, and particularly sports like football or rugby or lacrosse that are high physicality sports, uh, where the, uh, the, the, the stress of, uh, of, of playing and the teamwork aspect is, uh, is replicated when you're in the service. So I think that athletic excellence is, is really I th seem to think that I learned more lessons on the playing fields than I did in chemistry class when I was here. So that's, uh, that's kind of why I continue to support Navy rugby and support the other sports that, uh, that I'm involved in. I think private support helps rugby tremendously at the U.S. Naval Academy. Our, uh, our budget is generated internally, but we have an outside donor source that you know, it allowed us to have uh, facilities like the BSC that has allowed us to travel. We've been, uh, they, they helped us in, uh, to go to South Africa in 2005, so it's just been a, we've had great support from our alums. Well, and I think the whole Naval Academy and what this means, you know, my son Jack was uh, pl played uh, in high school, was well known around the country as a uh, rugby player, had a lot of options to go to many schools. He chose the Naval Academy. He came to me one day and said, you know, Dad, I want to serve my country. And it was the great academic excellence that we have at the Navy, and it's been such a great experience. Uh, my father actually went to Notre Dame, so I'm a little actually conflicted this weekend. But, you know, what we've seen, Dorothy and I have seen, and what's going on at Navy, there's just nothing like it. It's a magical experience, and we're so happy, and our son's so happy. Well, and I think it's important that, that the parents and others support the foundation to help do. Uh, Dorothy and I have been supportive of the rugby program here. I think it's important that we've got to help because, as you know, it's a different financing that we have here. It's different. It's unique. It's one of our military schools. So I think it's incumbent upon all of us who have the ability to give back to help these uh, students here and all the plebes and all the midshipmen because they have to have the best opportunity. And we've got to make sure that they have the best opportunities on the field. And that really comes from all of us sort of chipping in and helping. And right now we're in a big effort to actually build a new rugby pitch at the United States Naval Academy. So we're actually out raising money for that, but it's important. We want to keep beating Army uh, in rugby, and we want to make sure that Navy is number one in the country. So that's why we give.